going on dudes? Ordain here and welcome to the 1.10 update. So the 1.10 update just came out today so I figured I'd put it together as this little thing to show y'all some of the cool new features that came with it. So we're gonna head right over here. I'm just gonna start with to the left, start with the new blocks. Get out of F1. So this right here is the nether wart block. You basically just craft it by putting nether wart like this in the crafting table. Very simple. Once you craft it into this block you can't craft it back. It's purely, I think right now it's purely just for cosmetic. It might be they might introduce something in the future for it, but honestly don't know. Basically cosmetic right now. So this right here is the red nether brick block. Another de block just for decoration. Once you craft it, you can't uncraft it. And this is how you make it right here. You can make this, it, you can basically switch it up, but it has to be like this and kind of like a checker pattern. So yeah, that's the red nether brick block. Throw that away. And this is another cool block. I really like this one right here, the bone block. I think you can actually find these underground. There's, they also introduced the new fossil blocks as well. You can find while you're mining. So this is basically just um, preserving bone meal. This one actually you can uncraft it, which I thought was really cool. So you get your nine bone meal back. So with your uh, skeleton farms and stuff like that, you can convert it into these uh, blocks right here. And it just saves a lot of space. Because I don't know about y'all, but I've had double chests just full of just bone meal, just wishing to save some space. Another cool little thing about it is uh, it's different. It's different textured, kind of like a um, quartz column. I thought that was pretty cool. I guess they like imitate like a spine or something like that, a bone spine. I don't know. That's how you craft it right there. Just a full uh, three by three bone meal. Easy block. And this one right here. Let's get rid of that. This one right here is the new magma block. See, this block is pretty interesting right here. You craft this with a two by two of magma cream like that. I don't think you can uncraft it. Let's see. I'm pretty sure you can't. Yeah, you can't. So this is a pretty interesting block right here. So this is one of those. It's a. It's kind of like cactus. Here, I'm gonna go in a uh, game mode zero. Okay. So it's kind of like cactus. You're. Yeah. There you go. Start taking damage while you're on it. It's a. I guess it can be used in farms instead of a uh, lava. We'll put the hoppers and stuff underneath it. Uh, hopper mine carts. So mobs, yeah, when mobs walk across this, they take damage too. It's basically like the new cactus block in the nether. So when the rain hits it, it's actually supposed to cause steam. Of course, we're in the desert, so there's not going to be any rain. Mobs are actually not supposed to walk across it. I have this thing right here set up. Uh, eggs, yes, the mob eggs. I knew I brought these for a reason. So this is the area I've set up for the mobs. Mobs are supposedly supposed to stay away from this. They added like a... um like a little AI to them, so they're supposed to stay away and run, but they obviously didn't fix this. <laughs> Looking at me, poor creeper. Yeah. Just gonna... Oh, that, he showed signs of intelligence, and... Eh, no, never mind. Oh, bye, zombie. However, what is really cool is this right here. Witches. They just shove them. Get on the... Why did I... There you go. So what witches do when they touch this block is they drink, you saw that they, they drink a fire resist potion and then they drink a healing potion to heal back up. I thought that was really cool. Apparently they drink a lot, just a single punch, Jesus. He's gonna keep healing there. I think this witch has a drinking problem. All right, so we finished with that. So these are the new mobs right here. This guy is called a stray. This is, uh, I think it's, there's like an 80% chance that a skeleton will spawn and this only spawns in the ice biomes. Mm -hmm. So like ice spikes, ice hills, uh, basically those kind of type of biomes. I have this block over here because um, in deserts and other biomes that aren't the ice spikes that they naturally spawn in, they actually burn. Like you see this guy right here, I'll get to him in a second, how he's not burning. It, it's basically the same effect. He doesn't burn when he's in his biome in full sunlight. It's pretty cool. So it's a stray. They shoot regular arrows like skeletons, but they actually cause a uh, slowness if they shoot you. There's a chance they can cause slowness, so that's pretty, uh... Ugh. Alright, so next up on our list is called the Husk. This is like an 80% spawn in a desert. I think it's only deserts, could be like mesas too. But basically, as you can see, he is not burning. This, this is, this is a terrible thing, a zombie that doesn't burn in sunlight. Mojang, what have you done? And it also has another fun little aspect to it. Can you hit me? Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Uh, this is why we can have nice things. Okay, get the sword. There we go. Can I... Okay. Hit me. Okay. Oh, Jesus. He gave me hunger, as you see. Get him. Side note. Please. Please. Okay. Go back to game mode so I don't die. 
So when they spawn and hit you, they actually give you a hunger effect, which is <laughs> another great aspect to this fantastic mob right here. Yep. Thanks, Mojang. Alrighty, so next up on our list is the Polar Bear Cub. Cute little creature right here. N one of the newest mobs to 1.10. 1.10. I don't know why I keep saying 1.10. This is 1.10. Pretty cool right here. These spawn in uh, snowy biomes. So they're pretty cool. When, when you actually kill them, they drop... Not the cubs, but when you kill the adults right here, they drop fish. So I thought that was pretty cool. So this is the new polar bear mob. They're actually... So they're aggressive when they have a baby or when you hurt them, I think. I, I haven't really messed with them too much. They're pretty cool, though, and they have a lot of health. So I'd say be careful if you uh, if you get attacked or if you decide to fight one of these. Yeah, they hurt a bit. So this right here is the new uh, polar bear spawn egg right here. It's almost the same color as the gas. See, a little polar bear right there and a gas right there. It's a little bit darker, but still minute differences. So that's pretty cool. All right, so the next thing on our list, we knocked out all the blocks, all the mobs and stuff. So that's all that, all these cool little things. So there's another cool thing they added to horses. So if you're on a horse and you want to like ender pearl, you can ender pearl off horses and, and oh, what are the odds? I freaking spawned one of those. So you can ender pearl off your horse now. The horse stays, of course, wherever you ender pearl off of it. But I guess it's like if you want to get a quick escape. I thought that was a pretty cool addition right there. Shoot. Sorry, I don't know what that was about. But anyways, if you want to get off your horse real quick, you can throw an ender pearl or any one of these guys. I got to get out of game mode to eat one. I don't feel like risking my up. Oh. That's unfortunate. You're very rude, sir. All right, next on our list is the fishing rod. They added a they added a cool new feature to this. I thought this was pretty awesome. Mm. So step on this little thing I made right here. And you shine the fishing rod out the item. Okay, let's see if I can get this to work. Come on, please, please, please. Accuracy, accurate. Got it. So as you see, I just caught the item with the fishing rod. I thought this was a cool new addition to Minecraft. So if you have a fishing rod on you, and you have an item pretty far, you can just like catch it if your aim is better than mine. Ooh, look, skeleton drops. Please. Please. I need this in my life. Obviously it's still a little buggy. Maybe you just can't pick up arrows. How about experience? Can you pick up experience? Well, I, I'm... Oh, finally got it. Jeez. Well, apparently there's still little bugs with it. There's a bit of bugs with it. It just came out today. What, what do you expect? But I thought that was a cool new feature, honestly. Brings a whole new use to the fishing rod. Except for PvP and being annoying. So another feature I thought was really cool. Well, it's it's really cool and kind of annoying at the same time. They added an auto jump. See, I'm not pressing spacebar at all right now. So it basically, yeah, you just auto, it's like an auto step kind of, but you're just auto jumping instead to get up the block. I thought that was a pretty cool feature. It, however, does cancel out sprint, so you'll have to, if you have a keybind to like R or something with sprint, that'll be a little easier, but you'll have to press it every time. But that's not too bad, it's not too bad, in case you don't have stairs or anything. I guess if you're in like a deep mine shaft, that comes in a lot. Like, that's pretty handy. It's, however, really annoying when you're building, so if you're like building like this, and you're just like, oh god, I need to be right here, no. No, stop it! I'm trying to do stuff! Stop it! Eh. Eh, 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 eh. So it is kind of annoying. It's auto it's automatically enabled, so you can just go in the settings and disable it fairly easily. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Alright dudes, thanks for watching. That was the 1.10 update. I hope you enjoyed. Got to show off some of the cool new features for the new update. And I hope you guys are excited as I am. Can't wait for that Optifine update though. <laughs> can't awkwardly zoom in. But anyways, dudes, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you like the video, give it a like. I'll catch you next time. Bye!